um, a few words, a few thinking that the, this question of more for less sug suggests to me. So uh, giving more, isn't it already the essential goal of architecture and the most important task of the architects and of the projects? And what is more for architecture? For me, more is, uh, in, in the architecture, is more is more quality of life, more space for uses, more capacity, more flexibility, more kindness, more generosity and pleasure, more intelligence for invention. And it should be also, um, more should be also not to have to make a choice between two important things in a project just because of a limited budget or unuseful regulations. It's not to have to choose between two necessary or important projects in the city as for example, more dwellings or a new museum. And more is to be able and to find the right solution to do both. And in the opposite, what is less? Spontaneously, one can say that less is less cost. But it's not only the cost. It's also less standards, less regulations. Now, uh, every question, every new problem leads to a new law, to a new regulation, and we have to resist against this big amount of uh, regulations. So um, I will try to a few projects to go on in the way we are, uh, we are working. And just a, a short comeback to uh, the first project uh, we, we did um, now nearly 20 years ago that uh, was mentioned in the presentation, the House Latapi. It was our first uh, uh, project as, a, as a young architects. And at that moment, we had already in mind the idea that uh, the concept of housing, the concept of dwelling should, should be totally uh, changed, reformulated. And uh, for this project and for a family with, uh, uh, of, of workers with a very low budget, uh, we had the, uh, the idea to propose something which was uh, much more uh, open, much more la larger, with an, an idea that uh, uh, living uh, space must create a very good conditions of climate inside. So at that moment of this first project that was not built, it's not this one which was built, uh, was uh, the idea of uh, building uh, a very large envelope in a very low cost. And this envelope would, uh, was made with a prefabricated greenhouse and we, uh, we had in mind to create uh, under this envelope a very nice climate as uh, south of Spain because uh, the, this family was uh, very often going to south of Spain for, uh, of Spain for holidays and it was really a pleasure for them to imagine that they could have in, in Bordeaux this kind of climate. And it's a very huge envelope which was uh, twice bigger than uh, the 80 square meters that they could normally afford, we could put uh, boxes, uh, wooden boxes for the traditional rooms uh, as uh, bedrooms, as a living room, which has the uh, normal conditions of uh, eating, of temperature. Uh, and uh, this idea of uh, double space was uh, intuitive, intuitively uh, already uh, there in, uh, in this project. So we couldn't do this, this one because uh, it was uh, more expensive than the, the budget. At that mo moment, it was uh, about 60,000 euros, and we had to, uh, to change the project. But we, we kept in mind this question of uh, double envelope, um, as, as, you, as you see here. This is uh, just the part which was uh, normally a traditional uh, house and the envelope allows to make a double volume with this very large greenhouse uh, oriented, on, oriented on east that brings not only a very good climate and uh, very good bioclimatic conditions but it's also uh, an additional space to extend the life of the family. So for us, 
uh, even if, if at that time we were not able to explain uh, all this reason, but we have the feeling that uh, every technical question must be solved by the space, by an addition of uh, living condition, of pleasure, of a, a right atmosphere. And technology is not just uh, interesting for, for itself. So this house was, was built with uh, here the plan and this uh, idea of double space. Double space that we are still uh, working in this way. And the double space is uh, this idea that uh, mm -hmm. the programs are uh, all the time very compressed, compressed because they are the result of uh, strong negotiation between uh, the needs and between the costs. And uh, if, uh, the, the, if you give an additional space without any function, the combination between program and the free space uh, gives something very interesting in terms of appropriation. So we built a house and uh, it's still a very, very nice house. And uh, a long time later, uh, thinking to this house, we came to this idea of uh, luxury, which is not connected to the question of cost, but connected to uh, very pleasant uh, conditions. A uh, long time later, we had to work on a, a social housing program. It means collective uh, housing for uh, public uh, housing in a small city in, uh, in uh, east of France. Uh, this was uh, in um, continuity of uh, uh, worker city. And the client, uh, which is a public uh, uh, housing developer, asked to uh, five architects to develop uh, a concept of uh, new typologies for housing, and he asked for uh, ideas for us with the uh, only condition uh, to respect uh, the, the budget conditions which are given by the government. It means uh, at that moment uh, 75,000 euros for uh, one flat. And uh, uh, because we, uh, in between, we, we, we could see that the first, in the first house, the house La Tapie, everything was working very well. Uh, appropriation, uh, the conditions of the climate, the saving energy. So uh, we, we wanted to go uh, to push as far as maximum of this concept of uh, uh, bioclimatic envelope that gives also an intermediate space and additional space for uh, living condition. So uh, we tried to apply to this project the uh, same um, ideas and we uh, propose to the, to the, the client uh, to change radically the standards and to try to make twice bigger dwellings than uh, the public standards. It means uh, uh, around uh, 70 to 80 square meters for a family of four uh, persons.